keeping strong, healthy bones is absolutely necessary to achieve optimal health as you go through your 40s into your 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. But did you know that doctors very often give patients terrible advice when it comes to what to eat in order to have stronger bones. Now, doctors want to talk about bone density. You'll seldom hear a doctor talk about bone strength. The reason for this is because all the research done was paid for by drug companies trying to get an FDA approved pill that increased bone density because it's much easier to increase bone density with a pill than it is to increase bone strength. So what I'd like to tell you is terrible advice that doctors give that's going to cause you to have weaker bones. Now, some of this advice might, might, might increase your bone density, but what you really care about is bone strength. Isn't that right? If you fall down, you want your bones to be strong enough that they don't break. I'm gonna tell you stupid advice that doctors give in this video to their patients that actually make their bone strength worse. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about bad advice that actually weakens your bones. The first piece of advice that doctors very often give if you are overweight, obese, or morbidly obese is they'll tell you to go on a calorie restriction diet to lose weight. And sure, if I lock you in my barn for the rest of your life and calorie restrict you, you'll lose weight. But we all know that in the real world, calorie restriction is only a short-term fix. You'll lose 20 pounds, then gain back 25 if you try to calorie restrict because that's semi-starvation and no one can do that for the rest of their life. Well, here's the problem with recommending a calorie restriction diet to someone over the age of 40. It makes you have less dense, weaker bones. There's quite a bit of research to back this up. Every point that I make in this video, I'm going to have research down in the show notes that will show you that what I'm saying is correct. And so read the, the research for yourself and then you decide. But I would never recommend calorie restriction for anyone over the age of 40, especially for women over the age of 50, 60 and beyond. It's going to cause you to have weaker bones that are more likely to break if and when you fall. The next bit of advice, you know doctors are in love with plant-based diets here over the last few years, and so they're always going to recommend that you eat more fruits and vegetables. So did you know that there's not a single research study on the planet that shows a causative relationship between eating lots of fruit and veg and stronger bones? Not a single study on the planet. There is some very weak observational research that shows a possible association but not a single research study shows a causative relationship between eating more fruit and veg and stronger bones. Uh, the fruit is just absolutely idiotic to recommend this for stronger bones. The vegetables, are, uh, some vegetables, are a good source of calcium. And this is why well-meaning doctors recommend that. The problem is that the vegetables are also full of oxalates and phytates and lectins that bind up the calcium and make it unusable to your body. Your body can't absorb it, therefore it never reaches your bones, okay? The next bad piece of advice that doctors give patients, again, because they're in love with the plant-based uh, ideology, is to avoid red meat and eggs because they're full of saturated fat and cholesterol and they're bad for you. Well, here's the problem with that. Your bones are over 50% protein. Now, when you think about bones and when your doctor talks about bones, most often all you hear about is calcium. But the truth of the matter is, is that your bones are 50% or more pure protein. And so if you're not eating enough protein in your diet or you're not absorbing enough of the protein that you eat, you're gonna have weaker bones and they're gonna be more likely to break. The protein from animal source foods, meat and eggs, is much more bioavailable and absorbable and usable by your body than plant proteins. Uh, this is well known in anybody studying this. Animal protein is better absorbed and better used in your body than plant protein. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but the truth is, what it is. The next piece of advice is very dastardly. 
most doctors give this advice and, and they have no clue of the link between this advice and weaker bones. But anytime a doctor tells you to eat a low salt diet and you're over the age of 40, especially a woman over 50, 60, 70, you need to ignore that advice and perhaps chastise that doctor and say, doctor, don't you know that the link between hyponatremia, which means low sodium, even subclinical hyponatremia and osteoporosis is very, very strong. It looks like there is a causative relationship between having low sodium in your blood, even if it's one point below normal, and an increased risk of osteoporosis, weaker bones, increased risk of breaking a bone if you fall. So you've, you've got to ignore the low salt. And I've got several research studies down in the show notes because I know I just pissed off several doctors and dietitians when I said that. But if you're concerned about the strength of your bones, you need to salt your t food to taste. You need to eat a real salt that doesn't come from the modern oceans that is mined from deep under the, under the earth that's protected from modern contamination and microplastics. Salt is good for your bones. Eating enough salt will strengthen your bones. Yes, you heard me right. Another idiotic piece of advice that doctors give their patients that it's, it's based on observational uh, food frequency questionnaire research is that you should drink alcohol in moderation. It looks like in some studies that that leads to increased bone density. There is not a single research study on the planet Earth that shows a causative uh, relationship between drinking alcohol in moderation and increased bone strength. There is no such study on the planet. There is some observational research that shows a possible association between moderate alcohol consumption and increased bone density. But there's never been a causation shown, okay? Alcohol is poison. Drinking one or two glasses of red wine with dinner is not going to help your heart. It's also not going to help your bones. You can safely ignore this uh, advice. Now, the final one is that you should eat a diet rich in whole grains and soy. Again, they're in love with the plant-based uh, theology, and that's why they're giving this advice, because you've got to get calories from somewhere if you're not eating meat and eggs. So soy and wheat both are, have protein in them. The problem is, is that the protein quality in them is terrible. It's monstrous. You can uh, hardly absorb any of it, much less have that protein strengthen your bones. Soy and whole grains are full of oxalates, which bind and block your ability to absorb the calcium. Therefore, they actually weaken your bones. If you know someone who's worried about their bone strength, please share this video with them. You're welcome, as always, to share it in your groups on social media. I hope this video helped. If you'd like to ask me a specific question about your health, your nutrition, your medic medicines, please become a patron on patreon.com. You can ask me your questions directly. I have another great video about increasing your bone strength right there that you can click on and watch. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.